In England, as in any other part of Europe, natterjack toads show their good manners, especially when they have a date with the ladies. Contrary to popular belief, many amphibians spend most of their time in dry and even arid places. They only come to the water once a year, when it's necessary to mate. Their appointments are scarce and short. They only meet for a few days. And each time the appointment must be set previously so all of them can attend the party. In the two previous years, the appointment was for January 31st and February 7th. Things have changed a lot this time, especially regarding the atmospheric pressure and temperature this year, the toads will arrive at the ponds on April 24th. The weather has gone crazy. However, having to wait is not habitual among toads. In this society, nobody arrives early or late. Genetic breeding among the best is at stake. The males were the first to arrive, as it should be. They loudly proclaim their superiority. They will spend one or two weeks croaking, waiting for a continuous line of females to approach their noisy pond. At night, directed by a weather station that analyzes weather, temperature and humidity, the ladies come to the pond. Just for a day, for a few hours, and they'll spend only one night with their chosen mate, their warty knight in shining armor. After a long embrace that may last 20 hours, they won't visit any other pond until next year, when their calendar and inner clock tell them that it is the perfect date for egg laying. Thank mm -hmm. you.